So today we are actually introducing some bees to our hives up here on the 615 Lafayette building. Um, and we are gonna give them their new home so that they can now call Detroit their home. We have a lot of fun <laughs> reporters here to be a part of it. It's so fun to see you all in your suits uh, so that you can enjoy uh, seeing the bees as well. Andrea, can you give them a couple puffs? Oh, there's the queen right there on top. We really want to create what we're calling a Detroit Bee Highway where we have hives throughout uh, Metro Detroit area and not just bees in the D, other other individuals, homeowners, urban garden could have hives, but not just the hives. It's important that bees have way stations or places that they can stop. So the building specifically, I think it, it will be a real pride point to say that they have bees up on the roof. Um, and then the honey actually from these hives are gonna be used here in the building for the cafe downstairs. In the community as a whole, uh, there's a lot of urban gardens and bees really help with the pollination. I'm just gonna go ahead and take one frame out. Scientists have found that with a beehive within a two mile radius, uh, your yields could be up to 70% higher. That's a lot more food uh, to, to help feed uh, all the residents in Detroit. She is solely responsible for building this hive up to about 60,000 bees here in Michigan in the summertime. I really encourage people to attend one of our, our workshops or one of our seminars. We do quite a few at the Outdoor Adventure Center so that you can learn a little bit more about the honeybee because they're very misunderstood and they uh, tend to get blamed uh, for other uh, species like wasp and hornets that tend to be a little bit more defensive. But I just hope that they realize the importance of honeybees and how we can coexist and I think Detroit's a great place to have that happen.